myth. The fastest way to make money in Mario Odyssey is through the Bowser's Kingdom sub area. Dude, this method is just so much better. What? Today, I put it on myself to bust some of the stupidest myths that have plagued Mario Odyssey for the past seven years. With some pretty silly myths on the list, you're gonna want to stick around and see whether or not they're real or fake. And on the off chance that you do stick around, you should consider subscribing for more cool content. But anyways, let's start in Metro Kingdom. Myth number one, it's impossible to make the jump in Metro Kingdom. If you guys weren't familiar with this jump, this has been deemed the impossible jump. I don't exactly know how it originated, but people always thought that making this jump would just be completely impossible. And I'm just gonna fail it right there too, because I didn't get another bounce. <laughs> we don't talk about that. No, but this jump is really easy, especially with uh, vectoring being discovered. If you put Mario at a 45 degree angle when you're moving in the air, he gets a lot more distance and a lot more speed, so... This jump is easy, myth busted. For our next myth, you can clip the letters out of bounds in Metro Kingdom. Yeah, so right now, as you can see, there's invisible walls on either side of this like rectangle here, so I can't really move the letters around too much. But what I've seen all over is that if you align this M just right on the street, and then you go ahead and get a scooter, you can use it to just kind of like lean against the M. You push yourself a little bit forward, and then you just go out of bounds. It's just that easy. And what's cool about this letter A is that apparently you could use it to just kind of like clip anywhere out of bounds. But for our next myth, you're apparently able to clip out of bounds in Metro Kingdom without any captures. So what I've been told is that right here on this gate, you're able to just kind of wall clip, get in between here and then roll. And it's that easy. <laughs> I've actually never done that clip before. That's crazy. Myth confirmed. And for the last myth in Metro, you can just play the original Mario Bros. So apparently if you just go into this room, Oh crazy, you could actually just play Mario Bros. Is it just- Oh, it's just 1-1. Dude, that's insane. They've never seen speedrunning like this, baby. Go, go, go. Okay, we don't talk about that. But you can play 1-1. Myth confirmed. In Sand Kingdom, you're able to get some secret dialogue if you capture an enemy and go to the Jaxi sign. Yeah, so I guess the Jaxi sign is supposed to count as like an NPC or something, because when you go up to it, you can call the Jaxi. And so it makes sense if you are able to just go up to one with an enemy. Because I know normally the, the NPCs would be like, Egg or ah, get away from me. And so if we get the Goomba over here, Eek! <laughs> that's kind of funny. I bet that's not intentional, but that's cool. Myth confirmed. Myth, if Mario puts on a helmet, he's protected from getting spikes in his nose. So if you all didn't know, if you get hit by a cactus anytime in Sand Kingdom, you can see Mario just has some spikes in his nose. His big old stupid nose. Look at that. But supposedly, if we go all the way back to the Odyssey, we just go ahead and put on any helmet. That obviously covers his nose, that doesn't count. Uh, do we think the racing helmet will work? I guess we'll try it. Guys, are we thinking this is a racer uniform? <laughs> yeah, but apparently if you get hit by it now, as you can see, there's no spikes in his nose. That's crazy, actually. What the heck? What happens if I just like throw Cappy? Is it still there? No, he just he just doesn't get it at all. Strange. Myth confirmed. Myth, if you're in a zipper capture and warp, your game will crash. It is an older thing, so it might have gotten patched out or something, but they've never seen me trick trouble like this, bro. And we're off. And easiest jump of my life. But anyways, you're apparently able to go through this zipper is what does it. But if we go forward, we hit the map as soon as possible. Oh, there we go. And then we warp. It just immediately crashes, what the heck? Myth confirmed. For the next myth, there's a limited amount of power moons you can buy from the shop. So I'm actually not gonna grind coins to see whether or not there's a limited amount of power moons. A while back, I made a video where I put way too many moons into the Odyssey and I bought like over 200 moons minimum in that video. So if you wanna check it out, I'll put it in the info card here. But yeah, I already know, this myth is busted. For the next myth, if you wear warmer clothing in Snow Kingdom, Mario will stop shivering. As you can see here, the second you, like, just stand still, Mario is absolutely shivering. Bro, he's so cold. I feel like if this is true, this is just like a small little addition that makes Mario Odyssey just the cool game that it is. Alright, so we gave him a cool little coat over here, and let's see if we go outside if he stops shivering. And thank god, he is not dying of hyperthermia today, boys. Let's go. Myth confirmed. For our next myth, you can go out of bounds in Shiveria. So apparently... This silly little guy can bounce up pretty high whenever you're just using the bounce over and over again. And using these bounces, apparently you can get out with a really nicely timed, like, uncapture of this guy. Wait, you can't even uncapture, I just press the button. Bro, we're gonna be here a second. 
<laughs> Wait, I did eat. There's no way, dude. That's actually crazy. Wait, is this quicksand? What the hell? Do I actually die if I sink into quicksand? What? Myth confirmed. <laughs> Man, I'm dead. For the next myth, once you get to zero coins and you die, you get a game over screen. This is gonna take a second because I'm at 3,000 coins, but I think I know the most efficient way to go ahead and get those coins down. Normally in other Mario games, there's like some sort of live system, but there isn't anything like that in Mario Odyssey. You just kind of have coins and you lose 10 whenever you go down, so we'll see what happens whenever we get to zero. Alright, so I, I went ahead and just bought 30 moons. That way we get rid of 3,000 coins. And then I have 8 extra, so I do have to die one time. Yeah, so as you can see, normally, you just lose some coins and then you respawn. But what happens when you have 0? Let's see what happens. I die. There's no game over screen, though. I wonder why they didn't do something like that in this game. I guess there is an assist mode, so this is more tailored towards, like, children children. But, myth busted. <laughs> For our next myth, if you go far enough in Lost Kingdom, the lava actually just won't hurt you. And I guess that could make sense. There's no way that they made the death plane, like, stretch across the whole entire kingdom. I guess we'll have to see for ourselves, though. Just keep going, Gordon! Wait, the wind sound effects just stopped. What the heck? There's an invisible wall. What? No! I can't even dive over there. Bro, that's lame. Yeah, so you can't even go far enough into Lost Kingdom, there's invisible walls. Myth busted. Myth, there's an invisible platform under the bridge in Bowser's Kingdom. So apparently if you just kind of walk over here, you'll see that the legs that are supposed to, you know, be support for the bridge aren't actually there. So surely there's got to be like an invisible platform here, right? No, it doesn't really look like it. But I also did get damage, so maybe we'll try again. No, there's nothing down there. Myth busted. Myth, the fastest way to make money in Mario Odyssey is through the Bowser's Kingdom sub area. So if you search up like tutorials to on how to make money for Mario Odyssey, there's actually a lot of them because it seems like everybody wants that skeleton outfit. But I have a feeling that's actually not the case. So I'm going to pull up my speedrun timer right here and we'll measure the rates of each thing. And we'll start the timer right now. All right, so you get this nut and then you just go across the spike walls over here. You don't use any directional influence, you just go. Let's go, Mario! I actually do get a lot of coins from this, oh my god. And I got the rings at the end, let's go. So let's say it takes about a minute to get through that, and you get 180 coins in total if you don't miss the coins at the end. And you could get 10,800 coins an hour. But I just honestly don't feel like that's the best way to do it. I think that Luigi's Balloon World is just so much better. So three, two, one, go. Oh, it's right there, it's right there. Come on, get it in the timer, get it in the timer. What? Let's go! Right on the 10 minute mark. And you have 3,091 coins. But if you just multiply that by 6, you'll see I would have gotten 18,546 coins an hour. That is way more than you would doing the sub area here. This myth is easily busted. <laughs> Myth, it's impossible to go from the island to the mainland in Mushroom Kingdom. So as you can see, we're on the painting island that you would normally get in Luncheon Kingdom. And apparently it's impossible to make this jump right here, which seems crazy because especially with the vault, it seems like something you'd really be able to do. Let's try it. There's an invisible wall, what? Dude, why would they do that? They don't have one in Luncheon. It'd be that easy to remove it in Luncheon, they, yet they remove it in Mushroom Kingdom. That's so stupid. No, but it's possible. All right, I'm seeing it right here. Apparently in version 1.0, you were just able to go completely across. This invisible wall wasn't here. If you want to do it in this version, there's a nut that you can use to just jump all the way up the invisible wall. But theoretically is possible. So this myth is busted. For our next myth, apparently ground pounding or rolling through pipes will make you go through them quicker. Woohoo, chippy, woohoo. All right, so I'm going ahead and getting live split open. And I'm just gonna go through this normally. All right, three, two, one. And he jumps out in about two seconds. All right, and then we have to roll in there, which I'm actually not sure how I'm gonna do. Do you know how difficult it's gonna be to do this, what? I have to play with two different controllers in one hand. I'm not playing with my feet, I'm not doing that. Three, two, one. No, that's definitely just very slightly quicker. Now we'll do it with ground pounding. So going in normally right now. 
and it takes about 2.7 seconds. Now for ground pounding... No, yeah, that's a complete difference. There is no way. Myth confirmed. For the next myth, apparently you can hide balloons in the air if you capture a Paragoomba. Alright, so this one seems a little bit fishy to me just off the bat, because I already know that you can't hide a balloon whenever you're jumping. I don't know if a Paragoomba will change it. Go, Wario, go! Yeah, there's a Paragoomba over there. And if we fly up... Yeah, if you saw the prompt right there, you're able to place a balloon by hitting left on the D-pad. But I can't do that right now. Can I hide it, like, on somewhere that isn't exactly ground? No. No, this just isn't true. Yeah, I look like an idiot right now. Myth busted. Mm. For the next myth, you get some secret dialogue when looking at the Earth in Moon Kingdom. Now, when I've seen people do this, you're only apparently able to do it on this cliff side. And if we go ahead and jump all the way up here, we make our way to the cliff. My camera's changing. I'm not even doing anything. Wow, looking up at our own plane, it just takes my breath away. I don't think that everybody would go out of the way to just look at the Earth from here. So I'm glad that Cappy acknowledges it. Myth confirmed. And for the last myth, if you subscribe, you'll get some cool confetti. I actually don't know whether or not that one's true, so you might have to try it at home. No, but seriously, thank you so much for all the support that I've gotten recently. In the last video, it bumped me up so much in subscribers, I didn't even get to say thank you for 700, 800, or 900 subscribers. I'm at a thousand right now. It's seriously so cool, and the content's only gonna get better from here. So if you really want to stick around for the ride, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. But anyways, thank you so much for watching, and have a good one.